Hey everyone, this is Fire Dragon of where I'm at. It is just past 3am in the morning here in the UK. The Sony press conference has just finished. Um, so these are my kind of impressions on this. My god, that was crazy, crazy press conference. So we had a little bit of delay at the beginning. Uh, this kicked off with a montage of all like, the PlayStation games. Really cool little video. Then Jack Tratton comes out, talks about the PSN outage. Didn't know he was going to do that. That's actually surprising to me. I thought they'd keep that kind of hush-hush. Um, but yeah, then we get to see a demo of Uncharted 3. It looks absolutely amazing. The, the demo actually made me a little seasick because the physics for the rocking of the boat in the storm looked amazing. Graphics looks amazing. Just looks really cool. Big fan of the Uncharted franchise. And then we had Resistance 3. I'm not sure about the guy demoing it. He was really weird. But anyway, game looked great. Uh, showed some really cool creature design. I'm, I quite like Resistance anyway. It's another cool franchise. Um, announced HD remix of the uh, PSP God of Wars. And then said again about the Ico, the Ico collection for Ico and Ico, whatever you want to call it, and Shadow of the Colossus. Love Shadow of the Colossus, great game. Not sure about release dates on those though, still. And no sign of uh, Last Guardian from Team Ico either, unfortunately. And then they announced 3D TV, Sony branded, PlayStation branded, whatever. Uh, it's not even really interest me. Anyway, uh, PlayStation Move stuff. Not a whole lot, but kind of talked about it for a while. Um, 2K Sports, about NBA whatever, medieval moves, something, younger audience game, and big list of games supporting move, it's boring stuff to me, um, Infamous 2 trailer, Infamous 2 comes out like tomorrow in America, Friday here in the UK, looking forward to that, uh, looks really cool, um, Little Big Planet's getting bigger move support, and then we saw Starhawk trailer, things like that, um, what else did we see, we saw Sly Cooper after that, um, it's nice to see that franchise coming back, and then CCP came on stage and announced that Dust514 uh, is going to be exclusive to the PS3. Persistent online shooter uh, linked to EVE Online. Uh, graphics might need a little bit of work there, I think. But it does come out next year, so. Then uh, Ken Levine from uh, Irrational Games came on. Looked about Bioshock Infinite. Really, really cool uh, gameplay and uh, trailer there. Looked really, really sweet. And he mentioned move support after kind of a cool story about how he wasn't very sure about uh, motion controls and then teased Bioshock for the NGP that sounded pretty cool and uh, you get Bioshock free if you buy uh, a Bioshock Infinite on the PS3 that's pretty cool pretty cool stuff Bioshock 1 if you buy Bioshock Infinite and then cool exclusive stuff for Saints Row 3 talked about some exclusive stuff in other games um, a Star Trek co-op game based around the J.J. Abrams movies that looked really cool. Didn't look like a movie tie-in or anything like that. And that was pre-alpha stuff, so that's looking pretty good. Um, SSX getting an exclusive level for the PS3. Need for Speed The Runs getting exclusive stuff. And Battlefield 3 gets free Battlefield 1943 with every purchase on the PS3. Uh, then we went into PlayStation Suite talking about how the PlayStation networking content is going to be on other platforms such as Android. But then, man, it kicked off. Next Generation Portable, Sony's new handheld, named the PS Vita, PSV maybe, I think I like the, like the ring of that, uh, Vita means life, whatever, <laughs> line stuff, um, it has cameras, dual screens, motion sensing, dual analog sticks, touch screens, it's crazy, uh, Wi-Fi and 3G models, partnered with at and in the in America, <laughs> laughs from the audience, I know where that's from, that's funny stuff. Uh, it has party rooms, and you can connect to people close to you with something called Nia. And then we had uh, the games for it. Uncharted Golden Abyss. Amazing graphics for a handheld. This thing is crazy. Uh, it's not as good as like the PS3 or Xbox kind of level graphics, but just a little below that. It's got a lot of the same kind of lighting techniques that they use on there. Uh, touch controls with that. I'm not really sold on that, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, Ruin, a game where you can play on the PS Vita or on your PS3 uh, sat at home, so you can t portable cloud thing, so you can kind of move it in between the console and the portable, that's cool. Um, Modernation, Re Modernation, Racers. Modernation Racers on the Vita, that looks cool. Uh, Cross-platform cross play between some games, uh, Wipeout was an example, so you can play on the PS3 or on the PS Vita. A uh, little big planet for it, uh, you can touch creations, graphics are very similar to the PS3 version actually, the graphics. Um, much better than the PSPs. Uh, it's brand new modes taking advantage of the new controls and all new tools. For, uh, all the tools are from Little Big Planet 2, they're all back. And then they talked about Street Fighter Cross Tekken, 
and Call from Infamous is going to be a playable character in that. Very awkward translator in that. And then there was a montage of all the PlayStation Vita content uh, saying it's going to be releasing this holiday season and the price is going to be $249 uh, for the Wi-Fi or $299 for the 3G. And that's it. That was actually a really good conference, I thought. Um, they jam-packed that with a hell of a lot of information, but let's see how Nintendo does tomorrow morning. And I will see you guys straight after their conference. Bye!